Thank you for visiting our Kickstarter campaign. This is Paul and Alessia here from the Writer's Guide to Story. Along with our other team members, we are starting a platform to explore archetypal patterns within myths and fairy tales. Things are coming together for our animated short film, Retelling the Fairy Tale Sleeping Beauty. Alessia, what was your inspiration for the artwork and portrayals in Sleeping Beauty? So, hello, Paul. For the artworks, I've tried to mix together my own imagination with some historical and fantasy references. I have a strong attachment to the Nordic East European fairy tales, so the princess is practically a slavish or northern European girl, while the knight is a more Mediterranean features like a Greek or Italian. For the clothes and fashion, I made research about Middle Age and Renaissance fashion in general. So the Marquesa Malefica looks like an evil version of the Elizabeth I, because I wanted to keep a sort of realistic feeling overall. For the colors and the general setting, I had as a loose guide the Disney masterpiece, because I am very attached to Evander artworks. It was my first love in illustration, and I was really attracted to it when I was a kid. What about you, Paul? What have you learned by working and studying The Sleeping Beauty? First off, I I love that you are paying homage to Earl's artwork, and I'm thrilled about all the inspiration and hard work going into this project so far. When I sit with Sleeping Beauty, I am struck by the story's wisdom about our inner life unifying with our outer life for better or worse. Now, the king and queen desire a child. They desire the heroic aspect of the psyche to find its fullness and totality. It's a story about crossing thresholds in life, encountering fate, and the search for wholeness. Is the enchantment of sleep the result of an unintegrated life? These are the questions the story asks of us. Then there is the awakening, deep symbolism full of meaning. We will discuss all of this in detail on our podcast and on our YouTube channel. Yeah, there are a lot to learn about fairy tales and their deep psychological meaning. So I'm very excited to work on this project as an artist and illustrator. And this is just the first chapter of More About to Come. So hopefully, let's see on the Kickstarter campaign. Absolutely. I'm looking forward to everything as well. Really excited for this milestone and really excited to get the Kickstarter campaign kicked off and grateful to everyone visiting our page. Thank you very much. And thanks, Alessia. Thank you both.